Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a haul video. These are fragrances that I added to my collection during the months of April and May. And one fragrance actually I pre-ordered during February but didn't receive up until the last week of May. Some fragrances that I'll be mentioning here are ones that I've been wanting to add to my collection for a while. There were a lot of new releases, some repurchases, and some impulse purchases as well. So I'm gonna start with these two from Teo Cabanel. This is Po Sale, and it is a re-release of a limited edition um, collaboration that they did with Mo Trotter. And it is a salty tropical vanilla. It has notes of coconut water, vanilla, and salt. And I actually posted about this fragrance in my community page asking what you guys thought about it, but not a lot of people really heard about this fragrance. It performs really well. Uh, when I received my package, I sprayed it on my jacket and some of the perfume um, ended up on my jacket sleeve and I could still smell it on my jacket for the next three, four days. This is Deja Vu, a 2023 release from Teo Cabanel. I talked about this in some of my videos and this I got because of the bubblegum note that it has. It's advertised as a bubblegum scent, but like I said in my previous video, when it comes to Teo Cabanel fragrances, they have like a star note or a star chord or a theme, but that's not really how the fragrance would smell like. And for Deja Vu, that's how it is with the bubblegum. Right now, after having this fragrance for a number of weeks, you know, I get more of the bubblegum. It stays longer, you know, in the scent profile, but it's still very much a leather iris kind of a scent. I love it more now. I was really like sort of bummed out about this fragrance when I first received it because, you know, I was expecting more of the bubblegum, but like, you know, with all the other Teo Cabanel fragrances that I have in my collection, I learned that, you know, you just have to let them sit and let them macerate for a while before you get to experience the entire scent or the entirety of the beautiful scent. And that's how I felt with Deja Vu. I didn't know that they had a 30 ml, you guys. So I was just browsing on Instagram. Instagram, it was also Instagram, you know, where I discovered Deja Vu and Po Soleil, aside from the email. I, I shouldn't be on Instagram because I learn a lot of new releases and new fragrances. So anyway, I saw Bake um, being posted on, on Instagram and I was like, when I saw the notes, it has like lemon and, you know, vanilla. It smells like lemon pie or whatever. I knew right away that it's a fragrance that I need to try because I just purchased a lemon fragrance from Teodoro Scalatinas. And, you know, knowing that, you know, summer gourmands are like the it thing right now in fragrances, I had to get my hands on Bake, so I went to the website, and lo and behold, they have 30 ml fragrances. I don't know since when they have 30 ml fragrances. I think I'm kind of late with the news, but you know, I'm very happy anyway, no, now knowing that they have 30 ml. Anyway, this is Bake. This is the very first like full bottle fragrance that I have of Acro. It was a blind buy, and you guys, this, just looking at the dent, I've had this for a week, a couple of weeks. This is a new bottle. This is the dent that I made on Bake. And knowing that this is a 30 ml, I, my goodness, I know I'm gonna run out of this fragrance really, really fast. It smells exactly like the notes. It's so delicious. Like I'm gonna be filming a lemon fragrances video featuring new lemon fragrances and some lemon fragrance favorites, an affordable one and a dupe. So I'm going to be talking more about this fragrance in that video, but Dan says it all. I love this. It performs well. All I'm going to say is that it performs well, lasts super long in skin, and projects really well. And when I got the bottle of Bake, a couple of weeks after that, I decided to get 30 ml bottles as well of these two fragrances, Dark and Awake. So these were my top two favorites from the Discovery set. I mentioned in my house review that if the brand has smaller bottles, I would get, you know, full bottles of every single fragrance but you know that's that's not being practical I, I can't do that financially i can't do that space wise i can't do that so i decided to choose fragrances that i knew i really loved and, I, and these fragrances ranked very high when i did a house review or when i tried all the samples so awake is a coffee scent with cardamom and lemon and it's a true dark coffee scent but what I love with Acro Fragrances is that in the entrance, you get what you 
you're really looking for in the fragrance you know like if they say coffee you really do get coffee but in the try down it becomes a more wearable and versatile kind of a scent so awake is a coffee scent and dark is the rich dark chocolate scent very like 80 percent like very dark chocolate bitter almost acidic almost citric it has a very noticeable patchouli note in here i think it has patchouli i'm not really so sure but you know, when I sprayed this on my arm when I got it, I was like, okay, that reminds me a lot of patchouli, but very, very beautiful. I'm very happy with these. So these were fragrances, Dark and Awake were fragrances that were actually in my wish list in 2021, I think, or 2020. But, you know, I wasn't really so sure if I had the budget or if I was really willing to commit to 100 ml of a very artistic kind of a scent profile. But, you know, I'm very happy that I finally have these in my collection and a Gourmand fragrance from Acro as well, a new favorite. I talked about these two fragrances in my um, Unuino Mod house review and in my um, fragrance notes that I struggle with kind of a video. So Love at First Sight is a green floral, luminous floral scent with notes of um, purple florals and passion fruit as the star note. And sugar leather is a sugar leather scent with sugar leather, some cinnamon, some spices. Beautiful. This is spring and summer while sugar leather is fall and winter. So these two were new releases that again, I learned about on Instagram. I learned about them from Noelle and you know I just I can't be on Instagram you guys. I I just I can't. I get a lot of new stuff because of Instagram. And this is a repurchase. I talked about this in my other videos. Um I hate the bottle. I hate the bottle size. I think the bottle is real cute, but this size is what is it but the scent i love so you know i this is my fourth bottle i'm not gonna talk a lot about yes i am this was a fragrance that you know i've sampled i tried um late 2020 2021 i got many decants and samples from claire smith from kim canada kim and you know it just it's a scent profile that i love you know it's a fresh fruity out of the shower somehow like warm and it's ambery i don't know what the notes are but it's really nice i think it has apple and the apple in here was what really drew me to it and this is by the way toy 2 by moschino i love the bottle it's really cute um i could have gone like a bigger bottle but you know just like with yes i am cacherelle i think a 30 ml would make a cuter looking bottle and i know it's a scent profile that i really enjoy i would use a lot of but i also have other fragrances that belong to that same scent profile but you know what really makes this one special and unique to the very common fruity floral scents is that it has you know that i don't know like how to explain it it has that warm out of the shower feel to it i don't know what it is it could be ambroxan amber or whatever but moschino toy 2 a fragrance that i tried and sampled and really wanted to add to my collection and i finally have it I'm very happy with that and this is another um impulse purchase just like with bake and deja vu like when i saw the posts on instagram i just immediately go to the website and buy it and you know yeah, but when it comes to Theodora Scalatinis, there's like no question. I always do that when they have new releases. Lemon Tart is a 2023 Summer Gourmand release and notes like whipped cream, lemon, butter, everything. Like it literally smells like lemon tart. The, the buttery crust, the lemon curd or like the egg lemon whipped cream sugar combination, vanilla, it, this is how this one smells like like i'm gonna be comparing um lemon tart and bake because these are the two 2023 lemon gourmand fragrances that's released this year i'm gonna be talking more about this in my lemon fragrances video this was a no-brainer i already knew that i would love the fragrance i bought this fragrance just like velvet chocolate without even looking at the notes i already knew how it would smell like and it smells exactly like how i imagined it this is Lemon Tart by Theodoros Kalitinis. So this was an impulse purchase. This was a sampled um, wish list kind of a purchase. Actually, Moschino 2 replaced um, Dylan Purple 
from Versace. That was a fragrance that was in my wish list, but um, after finishing my sample, I wasn't really so sure how I felt about it. Um, kind of gives me the same ish vibe, so I decided to go for Moschino instead. So this was a wish list. Yes, I am by Casherel was a repurchase. These two were impulse purchases because you know I just can't resist any new release from Uni Nomad from Teo Cabanal, Teodoro Scalatinis, any new releases from the house, from these houses, I just go for. Acro Dark and Awake are technically wishlist fragrances. They were in my wishlist year 2021. I scratched them off in 2022 because I thought, you know, I just can't buy a full bottle, like 100 ml of these two fragrances. But now knowing that they have 30 ml, I finally have my hands on these two. Bake was an impulse purchase that was a blessing in disguise because if I hadn't seen Bake on Instagram, I wouldn't have visited the Acro website and I wouldn't have realized that they have 30 ml bottles. Deja Vu and Posale were both impulse purchases from Teo Cabanel. And these are all the new fragrances that I added to my collection during the months of April and May. Let me know, you guys, what you think about these fragrances that I added to my collection. And hopefully, I will see you guys again in my next videos.